The princess was pushed down a well while making a wish. Giselle kept falling. After an unknown period of time, she came to a sewer. The animated princess has become a real person. She's gone from the fairy tale world to the real world. Giselle carefully pushed open the manhole cover. When she peeked out, she was shocked. As soon as she climbed out of the sewer, cars appeared. Giselle panicked. She's completely blocking the busy driveway. Giselle was pushed by the crowd into an empty street. She had no one to turn to in the big city. It was raining. She didn't know what to do. She was walking down the street when she saw a billboard that looked just like a castle. She was so happy that she climbed up there and knocked on the door. The lawyer Robert and his daughter see her. They went up to talk to her. But Giselle lost her footing and fell. But Robert caught her. She told Robert that she was a princess and that a prince would come for her. Robert thought she was strange and she had nowhere else to go. So it took her home. But Giselle's dress was too big for the door. They pushed her in together. Giselle wasn't embarrassed at all. She was so tired. She fell asleep on the sofa. Meanwhile, her prince leaps down by the sewer, and a chipmunk follows him. The prince leapt out of the sewer, and aimed his sword at the maintenance man. With his other hand, he holds the popped up chipmunk. The prince called them hillbillies. But he was a hillbilly himself. He had never seen an automobile before and treated them like wild animals. He jumped on the bus and stuck his sword in it. The driver is so angry. She gets off the bus and insults the prince. The prince thought the people here were very unfriendly. In the fairy tale world, the queen learns that the prince has also gone to the real world. She orders her minister to go to the real world to wreak havoc. She was the one who pushed Giselle down because she didn't want Giselle to take away her power. So another man appeared in the sewer. While the maintenance workers are confused, Giselle wakes up. The princess pushes open her window and calls out. And the animals hear her and rush to her apartment. The birds flew to the table and cleaned it with their tails. Cockroaches crawl out of the drain and clean the dirty bath up with their bodies. Rats follow the woman as she scrubs the floor. Some rats struggled with toothbrushes to scrub the toilet. The woman jumped into the living room and waved her hand. And all the animals moved. The house was clean as they cleaned it. Robert and his daughter were shocked when they heard the noise and came out. They hurriedly shooed the animals out. There was a bird in the bathroom. And in its panic, it swooped Robert down. Robert pulls Giselle with him as it falls. Robert's fiancé sees this. She is furious, turns away, and doesn't want to hear Robert's explanation. Robert returns home to find that Giselle has taken down his curtains. She had sewn herself a beautiful dress. When Giselle learns of his emotional crisis, she says Robert should hug his fiancé tightly and sing a love song to express his love. Robert looked at her strangely. He's a divorce lawyer. In this world, he has long since stopped believing in marriage and love. Robert could only give Giselle some money and tell her to leave on her own. But he saw Giselle give the money to the beggar. He was afraid she was in danger. So he went to find her again. They walked and talked. One of them is from a fairy tale. The other is from reality. And they have completely different ideas about love. Robert has known his fiancée for five years but never proposed to her. Giselle and the prince were ready to get married. After knowing each other for only one day. Robert was surprised and told Giselle to date the prince and get to know each other better. Suddenly a man stops them and gives Giselle a caramel apple. Giselle accepted, but she moved too much, and the apple flew out of her hand. The apple falls onto a helmet and corrodes a hole in it. The apple was poisoned, and the man was a minister sent by the queen. He kept preventing the prince from finding Giselle. The chipmunks watched the minister get his hands on the poisoned apple. He gestures in front of the prince, but the prince couldn't understand him. The chipmunks can only follow the minister and sabotage his next move. The waiter brought the beautiful princess a glass of poison wine, just as Giselle was about to drink it. A chipmunk suddenly appeared in the restaurant. Everyone was surprised. The waiter was so angry, he swept the chipmunk away. He waved his broom around the restaurant. He found the chipmunk hiding under the pie, so he picked up the plate and threw it into the fireplace. At the last minute, the chipmunk jumped out. The story made the news, and Giselle was interviewed. The prince at the hotel saw it. He rushed to Robert's apartment, and went door to door looking for Giselle. After the incident at the restaurant, Giselle gently comforted Robert's daughter. Robert smiles at the scene. After putting the baby to bed, love sparks between Robert and Giselle in the living room. They stop just in time at the end. The next day, Giselle cut the curtain again to make a dress. While they were eating breakfast, the prince came to them. Giselle runs to him with joy, but just as she was about to leave, she hesitated. She didn't want to leave Robert, to stall for time. She asked the prince for a date and a dance at the ball, but with nothing prepared, she returns to Robert's house to ask for help. Robert's daughter took out her father's bank card and took Giselle shopping. By the end of that day, they were both having a great time. At the dance, Giselle met Robert again. They danced together when they exchanged partners. 
Eventually, they had to leave. Giselle looked at Robert with sadness. Then a witch appeared holding an apple. She said that if she ate the apple, she would get true love, and that's exactly what Giselle wanted. So she ate the apple and fell into a coma. The witch was the queen and the apple was poisoned. Because the minister kept failing, she came here too. But before she could take Giselle away, the prince found her. The prince knew at this moment she needed a true love's kiss. But no matter how much he kissed, Giselle didn't respond at all. In desperation, he pulled Robert over and asked him to kiss Giselle. And the prince didn't care who kissed her. By a miracle, Giselle slowly woke up after Robert's kiss. The queen was so angry, she transformed again. She grabs Robert and rushes outside. Giselle grabs the prince's sword and goes after him. She bravely climbed up to the top floor, followed by the chipmunk. While the queen was still talking, he climbed up the lightning rod and patted himself on the stomach. Then he brought the lightning rod down on the queen. The queen ends up falling off the tall building. Giselle grabbed Robert and they stopped at the edge of the roof. At this moment, they finally realized who their true love was. And the prince wasn't sad. He walked over to Robert's fiancé and put on the heels for her. It was love at first sight for both of them. In the end, the prince took the woman back to the fairy tale world. And Giselle stayed in the 21st century to become Robert's wife and his daughter's mother. The story ends here. This movie is called Enchanted and was released in 2007. It's a fantastical and entertaining journey of love. It's not always the prince who kisses the princess. It could be a lawyer. Now have you found your true love?